Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 27th of 2017. This is Cyber Monday. I, uh, Black Friday or whatever, I was, even before I was checking for sales on, uh, I think primarily, uh, well, I was checking on a cell phone price, <coughs> the uh, Samsung uh, Note 5, but I was also checking for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for, well, here's the uh, cell phone that I was watching to see if it uh, was on sale. Then uh, I was checking, uh, watching to see if any, I didn't see any uh, I saw a lot of Canon cameras supposedly on sale. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Uh, Panasonic cameras, I uh, was watching for the uh, FZ80 here, uh, which has a 60x zoom. I was also checking for the G7. And... Uh, I might have been, I think those were the, well, also for the FZ300. I have an FZ200, and I even purchased uh, an FZ300 book. Uh, but I didn't see any of these on, on sale. So I've made up my mind uh, what I'm going to get. I am, and uh, it's not going to be, I guess, on sale. I'm going to get a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now, that's a two-year-old cell phone. But um, the, I have a blue, and I forget what the... It has three gigabytes of memory, and it's working just fine uh, for me in every way. No complaints with it. But I do want to go to the Note 5 because of the stylus and because of all the extra things that it does. And so I'm probably in about a week, I'm going to go ahead and uh, purchase it. And uh, next time I place an order to Amazon, I'll go ahead and order the case I'm going to put in. We'll put in one of those really rubberized uh, cases to protect it. Uh, it does 4K, the Samsung Note 5 does, and the, the cameras are pretty good on it. So I think what you're going to see from me will be, um, when I get it, you're going to see some more walking and talking videos, but I'm going to live stream as I'm doing it uh, using the uh, Note 5, and I'll be sending it live streaming to uh, YouTube. So you'll see some walking and talking. Unfortunately, you'll probably see the very, well, not, you'll probably see the very same areas I walked through before, but this time it'll be live streaming instead of me recording it and coming and then uploading it. Uh, I checked, you know, for the, uh, Friday, I just didn't find anything that was that uh, really that I was wanting. By the way, uh, on Netflix, I saw a great movie. I have trouble finding movies that I like. Netflix, where are you? Let's see. Under video, that's where it would be. Netflix. Uh, The come on, I gotta stop this, or we'll get hit with a get hit with a violation of. Come on, how do you stop this here? And I can't remember the name of it. To hell with it. That hopefully wasn't long enough that it's going to get hit with a copyright violation. 
the what was the name of it? I know what I can do probably better is Netflix. Where here's Netflix. I don't think this is going to do an autoplay. So the name of it was the something search. Oh man. Well, is it on some kind of a list here for me that let's go back. Do I have a list here of things watched? Uh, now available. Available for download. Independent movies. Thrillers. My downloads. Maybe it's over here. What's this? That's settings. Oh, maybe it'll show up here. By the way, if you're seeing a whole bunch of slasher, gruesome murder things here on my list, my ex-wife and she logs in to... Uh, we share the cost on the apartment here. She logs in, so and for and she watches stuff nonstop, even when she's sleeping. It's the uh, thing is going. So I come here and I get hit with all these things they think I want to see, and I don't want to see any of those. Uh, ah, here it is: the Hateful Eight. The Hateful Eight. I recommend it highly to you. Let me see if I can pull it up here. No. Okay, it must be at the top here. They must have a search thing here. Yeah. Here it is. If you have not watched this, I highly recommend it. Now, it's a lot of violence, a lot of but a great movie. Two hours and 47 minutes, so. But, uh... <coughs> 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 Excuse me. <coughs> I'm falling apart here. Anyway, The Hateful Eight, I highly recommend it to you. <coughs> oh. Uh, you just got to put up with that. I'm not going to make this video over again. <coughs> Hit the movie thing and I'll get the uh, little box off the screen, the tracking box. I have three. You can do that now. <coughs> well, you know, I guess you do it for a while, but. And when I started, you couldn't hook up. You could hook up one camera if you were lucky. And uh, now I have three Logitech cameras hooked up. Uh, that one is, I think it shows when I flip to them here. Hang on a second. If you watch the bottom of the screen, I think you will see it. Yeah. Okay, this is the Logitech Bry or whatever, the 4K one, Logitech USB. And uh, see which one switches to it next. Okay, well, I didn't see the name on that was I wasn't paying attention. Okay, that's the 920 whatever. And I think up there is a 930E. So, uh, what else did I want to tell you? 
Not sure what camera, if any, I'm going to get, but I am going to be getting the, and I've watched every video. There are some, I'm not going to, when I get it, I'm not going to try to review it for you folks because there are some unbelievable, fantastic reviews of it on YouTube. I couldn't come anywhere near doing it. Uh, <clears throat> one guy, uh, I think his was 100 things you can do with the Note 5. Unbelievable. Great, uh, great job of doing it. And uh, I would really like to have gold rather than, but I don't think it's, Okay, it is. Okay. Right now it is. Who I don't know what in a week. <clears throat> but okay, I can get it in gold. Uh, 32 gigabyte. Not available. Well, it's available from other sellers, but I want to go through. Uh, you might wonder why I don't uh, try purchasing from... Um, eBay. And where is, here it is. Oh, here it is. I've purchased from eBay before, but now this camera here I purchased from eBay. And I got it from a seller that was selling, um, I've told this story before. Uh, he sold a bunch of them. I mean, we're talking hundreds of these. And I had to wait till I uh, got some money and I kept checking the eBay site and it was down to, you know, three available, you know, only three left or something like that. And I got, and so I ordered and it came and, you know, the tags, you know, they have these little tags that hang off as things with the thing on. They weren't there. It was missing the um, lens cap, wasn't in the box. The box looked like it had some wear and tear. Uh, then I noticed that the serial number on the camera was different than the serial number on on the uh, camera. I'm sure they had a store, also a retail store. Uh, so I'm sure they had, you know, it was on display. People picked it up and whatever. It got put back in the wrong box. They got down where, you know, they only had three or three of these things left. The order comes in. Somebody, hey, put that one in the... And everything in the and uh, then I noticed they had like a 99.9 .9 or something uh, rating you know of being good and uh, then after I got it I went and paid more attention to it and they had a whole bunch of things that were negative a whole bunch but because they sold so many items uh, they still came out with a, like a 99.9. .9. So, uh, anyway, I I kept the camera, and it works okay, and I, you know, I don't think it was refurbished. I'm sure it wasn't or uh, used or anything like that, but it may have been on display, but I don't even think it was on display. Well, I think it might have been on display sitting up someplace, but I don't think everybody in the world was handling it. But I just don't want to buy a camera from eBay. Now I've sold a lot of stuff on eBay. I've sold cameras on eBay. I've sold um, amateur radio equipment, ham radios, scanners, a lot of stuff. And when somebody purchased my item, they're like in mint condition. And there's always some extras that I throw in and I give them a good price. You know, it always uh, when I list something on eBay, uh, it'll sell, you know, it would sell immediate, um, immediately. The one item <laughs> that is the uh, radio from hell, I was sent uh, by the manufacturer two digital uh, HTs to review, ham radio, walkie-talkies to review, and they were digital, identical. Uh, DMR radios I, and when I I said I would review them you know for the company and check them out 
they sent them to me. And then when I got them, I thought, my God, I really don't, I'm not competent to, you know, review a DMR radio. And uh, so I gave one of them to a ham radio operator who is, comp he has a DMR repeater and all types of stuff. I gave it to him, I gave him, you know, I said, hey, would you review this and just let me use your review for this? And I gave it to him, he never did a review. So anyway, I had the one radio. So um, I thought, well, I'll just sell it on eBay. And I did not want to mess with the thing. You know, it was brand, of course, brand new. So I listed it on eBay and immediately somebody bought it back on the East Coast of the United States, sent the money and uh, wanted it, you know, priority shipping and everything. And so everything was, they paid everything. And uh, then the guy contacts me. I don't blame him, you know. Anyway, he contacts, he says, hey, uh, could you update the BIOS for me? And could you install the frequencies for my area in, in there? And at first I said, oh, okay. Then I got to think about, no, that's why I wanted to sell the thing. If I was going to do all that, I would just keep the radio for myself, although I have a DMR, you know, radio, handy talkie. Not that brand, but. So then I contacted him and said, yeah, no, I'm not really interested in doing that. I said, you can, you know, I can refund all your money. If you, and he said, okay. So I refunded his money. And I never sell anything internationally except to Canada. And I thought I had the settings set where I would never, anyway, I listed it again and uh, a guy a Frenchman no a German I can't remember he, he was it was Germany he was French but he was in Germany and uh, so he bought it and he wanted he was happy to get it and he paid extra for everything I said, wait a minute, you know, shipping it this way, it's going to be international. No, 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 I'll go ahead, I'll pay. And I said, okay. So, oh, sent it off to him. And, you know, I did the tracking on it, and it got to his town there uh, in Germany. And it was available to be picked up there. Then I heard from him that the reason they didn't deliver it was, uh, the customs or the post office there uh, looked at it and it was not approved for, I'm not sure if it was not approved for, I think it was not approved for the EU. It was not approved. Uh, so the guy said, you know, I, I said, okay. I said, well, anyway, he was nice about it. He took a hit on the money thing, and I took a hit, of course, on it, and I pay. I ended up paying the seller's commit, you know, the fee for, which is quite heavy that for selling an item that expensive. But so, I thought I lucked out because I thought I would have to that he would either have to end up paying to send it back, or that I would have to end up paying it sending it back or we'd split the cost or something but uh, the post office since they didn't deliver it to him and since it wasn't approved uh, they would just return it uh, you know there'd be no postal charge for the returning and I thought well okay uh, then I got a notice from the exit port or wherever where it was going to be leaving and they said uh, this device has a lithium ion battery in it and you can we cannot ship it whatever and here's your choices and my my best choice was I said just take the lithium battery and dispose of it do whatever you want to do and just return it to me without the battery so it came back and uh, with no battery 
And what good is a radio with no battery? So I went ahead and had to order and buy a lithium ion battery for it. It's on the shelf there. Uh, do not. <laughs> that is a radio from hell for me. Uh, don't offer to uh, buy it from me. Because I don't know what would happen. So uh, how did I get started on that story? Anyway, when I get the Note 5, who stole the ice cream from the ship's kitchen? You have any idea who took it? Captain Quig. The Kane Mutiny. Okay, let's see. What else do I need to cover here? Not that. Not that. Hey, I'll trade you a digital ham radio for <laughs> Panasonic FZ80 or a, a G, Panasonic G7. Uh, it would be a Fair trade for the uh, FZ80, but a G7, it would be, wouldn't be a fair trade for whoever was trading it. Except you'd be trading, I'm sure, a used, you know, camera. And, uh, but anyway, um, what else did I want to say? I'm going to try to get the gold. It looks good. I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. One reason I'm not real crazy about getting a new or getting a 4K camera in is, God, it takes so long to upload a 4K or to upload uh, 1080p, like two hours and 15 minutes. If, of course, I talk too long. Thank you very much for watching.